Does anyone else get so freaking lost trying to find elevators? my hotel room because I always get super lost when going from one end to the other. It was just in Tina's room. We finished wrapping up a panel for uh, just like a PowerPoint presentation and now I'm trying to make it back to my room wherever it is so I can go get dinner with Brett. But uh, it's a pretty nice Thursday so far. Uh, the gazebo is fairly empty. It won't be for the rest of the con. So if anybody ever wants to do gazebo photos at Katsukon, Thursday is the day. Suffering. but I want to say it's probably close to 11 o'clock. Um, I'm not that old. I turn 26 next week, but sometimes when I'm at cons, I just feel like old-ish where I'm just like am low energy and tired. And a part of this is just because I like rarely get enough sleep. A part of this is from like just having to get up to go to work. And a part of it is just because I don't think I sleep super well. And so when I'm at cons and it's like 11 and like I didn't get up super early today. I woke up at 8. That's an hour later than what I normally wake up for five days out of the week. And I didn't feel tired until maybe <laughs> like three hours ago. I felt it really hitting me, especially my eyes when I had like my false eyelashes on. 
it was just like feeling it in waves. We were sitting doing cosplay chess rehearsal and I was like, I am so tired and ready to rip off the falsies and just relax. I didn't actually vlog like really much of at all today because we were super busy. Um, which is kind of my normal Katsukan routine now. I feel like for the past two years now, I've been like pretty involved in panel stuff. Today, I had a shoot. Uh, we were wearing Lloyd and Colette. My husband was Lloyd. That was Colette. We had a really fun time. It was actually really warm. It's supposed to get warmer throughout the weekend. So I'm actually excited about that because maybe Katsukan in the atrium won't be super crowded from all the cosplayers like trying to get the get the nice photo spots um maybe people will go outside and compete for outdoor photo locations and so after the shoot um brett and i milled about we got lunch we both got like salads at the public house and then we went to the tail shoot which was really fun because i actually know a fair amount of east coast u.s Tails cosplayers and also some of the people who happen to like fly in to Katsukan who also cosplay from Tails. So it's always nice to see them again. These are like sometimes I only see these people at Katsukan because you know I mean, even for the people like who especially aren't on the east coast who are just like go to Katsukan because it's the big cosplay con. I only see them once a year so I'm always really happy to see them. That's why I like that's part of the reason why I keep cosplaying Tails is because I have so many friends who are into Tails and I just like I love talking about the series but I also just love catching up with people again. I immediately went back to my hotel room to change into Hikaru. Fortunately I had very little to change on makeup. It was just like sticking on falsies because I hadn't really felt like wearing them for Colette. I like the ones I have feel a little bit too dramatic for Colette who to me like it seems like she has a very gentle looking face and I don't want to be like boom giant eyelashes so I changed into Hikaru like put on my falsies like deepened up some blush made my eyebrows pink threw on my clothes and my wig and like ran out to meet up with my friends Tina and Eris and Joe who was going to take photos of us so we took like a really quick photo shoot because I was running a little bit late and then like Eris was quickly finishing something up and then we had to like trek over to the atrium to go take photos because Eris, Eris would have frozen outside even though it was pretty warm today because Chizeta Umi from Magic Night Ray Earth is basically wearing like a belly dancing outfit and she would have been very cold. I would have been very toasty. So we took some quick photos. Um, we just had a good time like talking. We mostly just like chilled out for a few hours while Tina went to the cosplay contest. Then we had to go get our things for our workshop, which was about materials being used for cosplay. So we covered both fabric and some prop stuff. Unfortunately, Alex, Tina's husband, who's sort of like our prop guy, was in the hospital. He's okay now. He actually came back in the middle of our cosplay chess rehearsal. So we kind of were like, whoops, I mean, we can try to talk about props, but mostly we can talk about sewing and like fabric and stuff and talk about how much we love using cotton sateen for anything we can possibly use it for. Um, so we had that workshop and it went pretty well. It was honestly, we ended up switching to mostly just doing question and answer format because we would like get onto tangents talking about stuff us going on tangents like wow it's not like I do that all the time so we would take audience questions it was just like a really chill workshop I really enjoy doing this this is our second time doing cosplay components after that we had to like run our butts over to chibi 2 for the cosplay chess rehearsal because I am the least involved of the three of us but I'm still involved um, this is mostly Eris's project and Tina helped with the actual like chess moves and I'm just here to help. I'm here as an extra pair of hands. <laughs> so I'm eating leftovers. There's a giant piece of fish and just a bunch of waffle fries because we went to the Irish Whisper last night for dinner. It was very good. Today's brunch was at the public house 
which is also very good. None of these places are cheap, which is unfortunate, but I don't know. At Katsukon, we just always feel like treating ourselves because it's like during Valentine's Day weekend and it's also near my birthday. So I'm just like, treat yourself. So yeah, that's my Friday of Katsukon. I hope everybody's enjoying themselves or enjoyed themselves in the past tense when this goes up on YouTube. But I hope that people who went to Katsukon had a good time. Tomorrow I have a sunrise photo shoot, which will be my first time doing a sunrise photo shoot. It's sort of been on like my cosplay bucket list. I really wanted to do one at Otakon in my rose costume. I think I was planning on doing it from Tales of Zisteria, but I was just not feeling well at that con. I was incredibly low energy at Otakon. You can actually watch the vlog for that. It was just like, I was not even in costume for the majority of the convention, which is very odd for me. I am almost always in a costume. So I have that photo shoot and then I have cosplay chess for realsies, but we have to start setting up at 12. So I'm basically tied up in that for three plus hours. And then we have a panel called Anime Amazons in the evening around 8.45, I think. And after that, I'm pretty much free in Katsukan. I'm gonna have a pretty chill Sunday. Tomorrow or Sunday, I would like to make it into the dealer's room in the artist alley because I want to treat myself because next weekend is my birthday. So like, I don't feel bad about spending money on myself. So yeah, it's been a good Katsukan so far. I'm gonna wrap up and iron and stop talking to a camera by myself while I eat chocolate chip cookies and fish and chip leftovers. All right, bye.